Hi, everyone, welcome to Style 3D Atelier channel. In this video, you will learn how to making JK suit, so let's get start. Download the shirt that needs to be revised from the official resource library. Add the shirt to the project. Select the entire shirt. Move it to the appropriate position on the body so that the avatar can wear it later in the simulation. Use the shortcut Shift plus X to display the skeleton and adjust the avatar skeleton to make the position of the avatar and the clothing more accurate. Do the same on the other side. Rotate to check angles for adjustments. Select all shirts to unfreeze. Unstrengthen. Remove the right chest pocket. Remove all fixed pin. Remove the extra patterns. Use the shortcut I to open trace and remove the extra buttons. Since the shirt is too large, we select all and shrink it. And then adjust the position appropriately. Next, we add buttons to the shirt. Adjust the buttonhole width to 1.2 cm. Adjust the thickness to 1.8 mm. Double-click at the appropriate position to sew the button. Then use the fasten button, click on the button and the buttonhole respectively to button up. Next, use the pen tool, the shortcut is D. Draw the fold line here on the collar. Use the pen tool to draw a folded line segment. Use the same method to draw one on the left side. Select the two line segments. Tick the realistic fold. Adjust the angle to 318 degrees. Select the entire shirt, strengthen, and then press the spacebar for simulation. Here, we can observe that the chest position is not very fitting. So we can set the pocket layer to 1. Set the pocket cover layer to 2. Then set the bottom layer of the shirt to minus 1. Press the spacebar to simulate and check. In this way, the right piece of clothing is covered on top, but the chest is still not very flat and the side will expose the body, so we add a sewing line to solve this problem. Open the free sewing tool, the shortcut is M, so these two line segments. Press the spacebar for quick simulation. This way, the front is flat. Unstrengthen. Set all panel layers to zero. Press the spacebar for simulation. Finally, we shorten the sleeves a bit. Select this segment and move it upwards. Move it to the appropriate position. Then move the folded panel of the sleeve up as well. Set the layer to 1 for easier simulation later. Press the spacebar to simulate. After the simulation, it's found to be not very flat. Let's sew these two segments. Simulate again. This way the cuff is flat. For uneven place, we can manually adjust. There's a bit of unevenness at the chest. After closing the simulation, we reopen the patterns to re-simulate them. This way, our shirt pattern is basically modified. Let's change the color to beige. Set all layers to zero. Open the display fabric thickness. The shortcut is Alt plus one. This way, our shirt is ready. Next, we make the belt for the skirt. Create a rectangle that is 38 centimeters wide and 3.5 centimeters high. Copy one piece as the back part of the belt. Open the arrangement point, the shortcut is A. Arrange the belt around the waist. Harden the belt. 
Use the shortcut end to open the segment sewing tool and sew the front and back belts. Set the layer to 1. This ensures that the belt is always outside the clothing. Move the belt up a bit. To reduce the phenomenon of penetration during the next simulation, we open the pen tool. Draw some auxiliary line segments at the waist of the clothing. Then select all these auxiliary line segments. Open its elasticity and reduce the elasticity. Then press the spacebar to simulate. This can prevent penetration between the belt and the clothing. After the simulation is completed, delete the auxiliary lines and simulate again. During the simulation, continuously adjust the belt position. After adjusting, freeze the belt. Next, we make the skirt piece. Create a rectangle that is 128 cm wide and 35 cm high. Move the rectangle to the waist position. Use the shortcut A to open the arrangement point and arrange the rectangle around the waist. Increase the spacing to avoid the fabric being too tight and penetrating later. Move the skirt piece position. Generate equidistant internal lines between the two segments. Set the value to 29. Right-click the segment and click on the intersection to generate a point. Use the shortcut X to open the Add Point tool. Right-click on the bottom of the belt. Open the average segment. Set the value to 10. Open the pleat sewing and sew the belt and skirt piece together. Open the pleat fold. Change the number of inner lines per pleat to 3. Strengthen. Freeze shirt and belt to avoid piercing during the next steps. Simulate. Observe that the folds on the left side of the skirt are not flat. This is due to sewing problems. We need to adjust the sewing lines. Right-click on the sewing line to deactivate it. And use the same method to deactivate other incorrect sewing lines. Patience is needed here. During the simulation, we can drag the skirt to let folds at the correct angle. Then we activate the corrected sewing line step by step. This way, the fold direction of the pleated skirt is all right. Next, we copy the front piece to create the back piece. After copying, we adjust the direction of the back piece. Try to make the skirt piece fit closely to the sewing position. Using the same method, divide the bottom of the back belt into 10 equal sections. Delete these original sewing lines. Then, open the pleat sewing tool to sew. Simulate the back piece. Basically no problem. Let's sew the sides as well. Simulate. Shortcut key 2 to switch to front view. Observe the simulation of the skirt. Turn off the color generated by the effects. Next, let's add a grid pattern to the skirt. Let's duplicate a fabric. Select all the pieces of the skirt and drag the new fabric onto it. Then, add a grid pattern to the new piece. This way, our pleated skirt is done. The waist looks a bit tight. Let's pull out some to make it look more natural. Pull out the back of the clothing a bit as well. This completes the clothing part. Freeze the clothing. Next, let's make a bow. Find a bow from the accessory library. Add it to the project. Change the red color to pink. Use a straw to get the pink from the dress. 
Then attach the bow to the first button of the shirt. Adjust the direction of the bow with the trackball. Scale down the bow to the appropriate size. Next, adjust the shape of the bow. Shortcut key Z, open the Edit Pattern tool. Lengthen one corner and adjust the bend of the other corner. Do the same adjustment on the other side. Use the pen tool to draw a line at the position of the bow. Then open the free sewing tool. So the line segment to the position of the first button. Turn on the color display of the effects. Turn off the freezing effect of the bow. Strengthen the bow. Solidify the shape of the bow. Then press the space bar to simulate. During the simulation, drag the bow. Continuously adjust the shape of the bow manually. In this process, you can combine the space bar to stop and open the simulation. This way, you can better assist in adjusting the shape of the bow. When it's appropriate, press the space bar to stop the simulation. Turn off the freezing effect for all clothing. Turn off all strengthen. Shortcut key 2 to switch to front view. Rotate to view the clothing. In this way, our JK suit is complete. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.